Uh, but it is. So, uh, hello and welcome. Um, today, uh, if you're... Um, where are we? Oh, there we are. Uh, right, okay, so what we've got is... Um, Gary has done the pre-quiz roundy thing again, but um, we've got... He's put them on each slide separately. So every sort of... Well, actually, let me put it on a timer. Every five seconds, the slide will advance to the next one, so you'll get a chance to do them. Uh, if you use the quiz registration link, uh, which Gary is going to post now, please, Gary, thank you, um, then you will be able to view them all on, on the question sheet as you um, answer them. So you don't need to look at the uh, presentation in front of you. Apologies, I, I'm adding Coke to my rum. You know when you uh, you get so close to the end of a bottle of rum and you just think, I might as well just pour it all in. So God knows what I'm going to be like at the end of this. Oh, quite strong, but not as strong as stew makes it. So, um, yes, hello uh, and... Um, and uh, welcome viewers. Uh, don't worry if you've missed the first few pre-quiz thingies, uh, we will be going back through and if you use the registration link which Gary still hasn't posted so I'm gonna have to do it for him, um, then uh, you will be able to um, see them anyway. So there's a registration link, a pre-quiz round and then the actual quiz which you should have in front of you. Um, I'm not sure exactly how many of these are there. There are a whopping 25 um, pre-quiz questions. So, um, I don't know what's fancy cheese, but um, okay. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll, once it's once they've been through once, I'll put them on ten seconds, and then we'll move on to the main the main quiz. Um, uh, like I say, if you use the pre-quiz link, which uh, I've just put in, uh, where are we? I'll put it in again, just for those of you who aren't aware. Even if you haven't registered to have your answers taken, okay, you can see the questions on that link there. So use that link that I've just posted and you'll be able to see the questions uh, as, as they come up so you don't need to worry about the speed of it going through. Uh, yes, there are the pre-quiz questions. It's just uh, Gary's put them all on separate slides so I'm having to sort of scroll through them for you. Yeah, well, I've not got anything fancy. It's just a uh, Captain Morgan spiced rum and coke. Um, is Gary is question twelve a quick a, 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 a trick question? Oh, it is on every 10 seconds. We'll do 15 seconds. Let's go all the way back to the... that one. There we are. So they'll go through every 15 seconds now. And then we'll start with the, uh, the main quiz. Ooh, a cocktail evening. I like the sound of that.
Interesting. An anti-Google question. I'm quite looking forward to uh, to a karaoke when we're all allowed back out. I don't have, I, I don't really do them very often, but I really fancy a karaoke. And I'll need to have a housewarming party because I'm moving in uh, to moving over to Newcastle on the twenty second of June, which is rather exciting. <laughs> I'm sure you did quite well for most of last week. However, anyone who's just joined, welcome. These aren't the actual uh, questions. Um, they're just um, pre-quiz round will be starting uh, once it's run through all of these. You can use the link on the, uh, on the side to register uh, just on here if you haven't done so already. We have 10 people registered for um, the marking. Uh, well, hopefully you do well in this week's pre-quiz. We've already got some uh, uh, completed answer sheets from the pre-quiz round, so that's that's good. Certainly doing well. So the, uh, the votes for the charities so far are two votes for the RSPCA, one vote for BHF, one vote for Rewilding Britain, and three for Cats Protection. Uh, so, so far, Cats Protection uh, are going to be getting it. Uh, use the registration link. Uh, if you've not, if you, even if you've registered for your quiz, you can just do it again and put your charity in, and it, I think it'll add it to it. Um, we'll find out. Um, Yes. Who's voted for Cats Protection? Where's the dogs? Poor dogs. So we'll be starting very shortly. Starting in about 30 seconds.
Okay, so uh, let me just pause that there and pick my... Hello! Um, you might have noticed uh, the, uh, that I have uh, worn a green t-shirt today, so I'm just a floating head at the moment. Um, you can maybe guess which t-shirt it is. Uh, some of you that uh, go to Music on the Mar. Uh, so, okay, question one. What UK TV soap does Ken Barlow feature on? Well, good luck, Eggs Quarantine. Now, now, let's not get political. What button is, is Gary meant to be pressing? Do we trust Gary with buttons? I don't know that we do. Question two. Who wrote the book Matilda? Terrible, Gary. This is why I've not only got 23 viewers this week. It's because Gary has set a, a reputation of everything failing now. I'm going to get through this uh, rum and coke rather quickly. Question three. What is the national fruit of India? If anyone's really interested in fruit, maybe done a PhD in fruit. Question three, four, even four. Who won Dancing on Ice in 2020? Question five. What is Jay-Z and Beyonce's oldest child called?
And if anyone is from Newcastle and fancies a let loose coffee conversation, then uh, join the North East Young Professionals on Meetup. Sounds rather nice. If it was let loose tea, then Helen might join. I don't know if she's don't think she's watching this week. She tends to forget that or she plans things specifically so she doesn't have to watch me. Question six. How many versions of iPhones have there been released by Apple? This is including the XL, Max and Pro versions, um, but not including all the different sizes uh, as in capacity of of said iPhones. So if it's a six and a 6XL, then they're both, uh, then they're two separate phones, basically, for example. Is there a 6XL? Doesn't sound like there is. Is there? I can't think now. However, we will find out how many there are. Oh, oh, Helen is watching. Hello, Helen. Well, Helen, you'll have to come to Newcastle on the 6th of July for a, a, a what was it? A let loose tea and coffee, uh, well, a tea slash cold drink slash coffee conversation. Question seven. What is the biggest country in Africa? So Google Slides is, well, Google Sheets is uh, certainly better than Microsoft's Excel, I think. But uh, when it comes to their version of PowerPoint, I'm not sure they've really got any chance. I just moved some things over to uh, Google Sheets so Gary could add his uh, slides in. and It's messed up a lot of mine. So I'm just solving that now. I'll just move on to question eight. What is the chemical symbol for iron? Now that is the iron is in the metal, not the iron that you use to flatten your clothes, which you've possibly all forgotten about since none of us are allowed out. And, you know, who likes ironing in the first place? That's certainly the one thing that I am going to miss about moving to Newcastle is the fact that I will have to do my own ironing. Or maybe I just won't bother. Okay, I think that'll do. Should be fine. So. Question nine. How many miles is a full marathon? No, there's no point in ironing. Oh, vegan options as well. They do oat, oat milk um, tea. In fact, if anyone is vegan and they're missing, um, well, they're not liking the fact uh, that... Uh, oat milk or, or whatever milk alternative you have doesn't go as well with your normal tea bag. PG Tips do a version of a tea bag uh, made for vegan milks and it's really nice. Well, it is with oat milk anyway. I've not tried it with any other milk. Oat milk's the best though. Best for the environment. And just tastes better. Question 10. Who has won more Grand Slams? Roger Federer. 
Federer or Serena Williams. <laughs> oh, Stu. Yeah, I put a green t-shirt on. <laughs> um, you, you might be able to guess which, uh, which t-shirt. <laughs> Question um, 11. Who is the presenter of UK quiz show Tipping Point? Ah, there we are. My YouTube thing is fro had frozen, so it said my concurrent viewers was only 23. It's actually 32. I've refreshed it. And I've got four likes instead of two. So if someone wants to give me a like just to check that it's updating, that'd be great. Uh, question 12. Which Britain's Got Talent judge has recently released a number of children's books? Well, mine says 32. Yeah, it's just not updating live because I had to refresh to see all those lovely people that had given me a like. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe as well. And thank you to those subscribers who have already subscribed to my channel. I'm very grateful. Question 13. In the film Monsters, Inc., what is Sully's full name? Maybe YouTube's just forgotten how to count. So I've acquired for most of the, the stuff that I need for Newcastle now. Just uh, just need to find a, a sofa and a wardrobe. Um, I think that's about it. Picking up a fridge freezer next week. Done quite well on Facebook Marketplace. Question 14. True or false? Humans share around 50% of the same genetics with a banana. Anybody eating a banana at the moment? Maybe you can ask it how many, how many of the same genes you share. Question 15. Which motorway is the longest in the UK?
Question six. Oh no, that's it. So um, I will leave that on for a couple of seconds just for you to get the um, any questions that you've missed. Uh, oh yes, uh, donations. Um, let me just get you a link. That is the uh, the link there, and uh, yeah, if you want to uh, vote as to who to donate, then um, please feel free. Uh, currently, the top top one is RSPCA. We do like our animals here on this quiz, don't we? Um. So, moving on to round two. In this year is back again. In what year, or in which year, did Marilyn Monroe die? Die. Is that, is that better? I can't actually remember what he says it like, so. Die. <laughs> Question two. Uh, in what year? Did India gain independence from the UK? So what's everyone been up to this week? I've been, uh, well, I spent a couple of days doing uh, grout painting in the bathroom and then redoing the sealant. Um, so that was fun. Um, making the quiz and uh, preparing uh, stuff ready to move in on twenty second. You know, tenancy agreements and all that stuff. Question three: In what year did England win the FIFA World Cup? Not the Quidditch World Cup, but uh, the foot. The FIFA World Cup, even. Uh, in between is two separate words, Stu. Just, just you know, because I, I know that you like my me correcting your grammar. And then Liam will correct me. So. Tell me what to do an impression of. Might need a... Well, I've not got any... Well, I've got dark rum, but I've got no Coke to go with. Well, I've got warm Coke, but nobody likes warm Coke. And I'm not having dark room straight. But hey. Question four. In what year was the Good Friday Agreement signed? An elephant? I don't think I can do an elephant. Grammar. Liam, Liam, Liam you correct me on grammar. And I correct Stu. Correct Stu. I haven't been drinking. Stu, you can't talk. You've had cocktails that 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 have well, as Gary says, MDMA in it. Question five In what year did Queen Elizabeth the Second describe not in what year, but what year did Queen Elizabeth the Second describe as an Anus horribilis. 
I don't think you need to be uh, very good in Latin to understand what that says. That's exactly what someone who had touched MDMA would say, Stu. You've basically just given yourself in. Strew is my better friend than you, Stu. <laughs> Question six. In what year did sovereignty of Hong Kong transfer... Trans transfer? Transfer? That's meant to be transfer from the UK to the to the to the China. Well, there is only one of them, so it technically could be the China. Who said anus? I didn't say anus. Rum's meant to be good for a headache, right? Thought so. Question seven In what year was Queen Elizabeth the Second crowned? Me, posh. Oh, I can go a lot posher. I can go a lot posher, darling. In in which year was Queen Elizabeth II crowned? Might I offer you a scone? Or a scone? Scone? You think you are? Try try being in front of the camera. Question eight. No, no. I've, uh, yes, yes. Question eight. In what year, or in which year, did Canada achieve total independence from the UK? I didn't, darling. You. Wouldn't he darling you? I do need a green chair, but I I don't think I've got anything green to put over it. Like that wouldn't come up as green, or would it? No, apparently that's khaki, not green. So no, nothing green. Excuse me, Stu. I'm not pissed. I'm just happy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not that drunk. Uh, question nine. Uh, in what year was the Falklands War? When I was typing this, I ended up putting Falklands War. I feel like there's probably been lots of them. What's that face for, Liam?
Does anybody on here knit? Question 10. In what year did Queen Victoria die? There's a lot of Queen questions in this quiz. Don't blame me. I didn't make it. Well, I did, but... Gary says, don't forget your pre-quizzes. Sounds a bit wrong, but, you know, um, we have had uh, BLT, yours isn't in. Iris Wristwatch isn't in. Eggs Quarantine isn't in. I Have a Fat Cat Called Ninja isn't in. And neither is Brixie. Bobby, you haven't submitted anything. Um, yeah, don't forget to submit round one as well. Uh, question 11. In what year did Tony Blair become Prime Minister? If anyone remembers that. Or him. Is it a him or is it a that? Who knows? Well done, Anushka. Iris wristwatch, Iris wristwatch, Iris wristwatch, hi, 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 wristwatch, Irish wish, I, resetting, Iris, Iris, I give up, question 12, what year did the Brexit referendum take place, Iris wristwatch, no, forget that, it ain't gonna happen, Question, you like people make it, watching people mess things up, don't you? I doubt you could do better. Quest, I don't know why I'm talking down there. I should be talking in there. Question 13. In what year did David Beckham leave Manchester United? Uh, yeah, I, I don't think I would get more. <laughs> I don't think I'd get one point. Question 14. In what year did Eddie the Eagle make his name on the Winter Olympics? I'm terrible with dates. That's why I didn't do well at history. Or maybe it was just because school just could not teach me how to write. Um, hmm, do you get, okay, you can have half a point if you get the right decades. Gary, remember that. Question 15. In what year was the Battle of Britain? Why do I hate Magnolia? Why don't I hate Magnolia? It is revolting. It is the colour of classrooms. It is the colour of boring houses. And my mother painted the entire living room, including the ceiling, Magnolia. I feel like I'm in a mental asylum down there. That is why I don't like Magnolia. It makes things look old and dated and yellowy. It's like gloss paint that's gone off. 
White is much nicer. Rant over. Question... No, that's the end. Uh, so, uh, well, not the end of the quiz. Don't go away just yet. Don't go away just yet. Those are the questions for that round. And then we've got a break. Hey, how good's that? Uh, so, yes. Um, uh, uh, thank you, Gary. See, everyone agrees with me that Magnolia is terrible. So Magnolia is going. I've already had permission to paint the entire house white. Because then I don't have to paint it again at the end, you see. So yes, uh, we're back in uh, five minutes. Uh, so uh, please uh, fill up your glasses um, with uh, far too much rum. Um, if anyone has any uh, rum and coke they want to drop off that's been in the fridge, feel free. Um, and... Uh, Hi. Have a nice break. We will resume at ten to eight. Oh, yes, if you want to know the scores on the doors. Well, are they on the doors? Who knows? Who knows? We have got window capture. Full live scores. There we are. Can anyone read them? I don't think you can. Hopefully you can now. Hey, isn't OBS clever? You should use this in your production industry. Production industry? Performance industry, Gary. And yes, I've already done. I've already put up the leaderboard, Gary. You should do a 3-2-1 lockdown countdown and I'll close it for further answers with dramatic countdown music like Hunt... Um, yeah, I don't think I've got time for that. I'll close it for... I don't really know what you mean. Oh, before I see... Well, maybe. Maybe... I'm going to get another drink. Uh, we will be resuming in about uh, five minutes, four minutes, something like that.
Hello. I'm back. With one minute to go. Right, I have a St. Clemens Spritz stew, but with pineapple juice instead of orange juice and light tonic water instead of lemonade or bitter lemon. So let's see how it does. I bet you don't get this at your light coffee tea morning thing that you're having on the 6th of June. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I feel like I haven't, shouldn't have this so close to my nice new laptop, but oh well. What's life without a little risk? So, no, I'm not floating. Well, I am floating, but, you know. Have you seen the moon tonight? It's very big. And the sheep in the valleys. They're tiny. Righty ho then. So, Bowery Point with the floating head. Welcome to the film and TV round. Question one. Which family game show, first aired in 1971, returned to the BBC in 2018 with Mel and Sue as presenters? They must be so well known that we know them, not by their first name, but by a shortened version of their first name. Or maybe that's so they sound more personable so that we'll watch their show. Hey, three point five is better than uh, better than one, isn't it? And it's not the worst. <laughs> uh, so, question uh, two: Who was the original maths expert on Countdown? If you're about my age, you should remember her from Revision. Well, I don't know if you can class it Revision in primary school, but you know. Yes, it was half points for the decades, probably. <laughs> Statistician. <laughs> so, uh, did I move on to question three without realizing it? Yes, I did. Question three. Binky Felstead and Ollie Locke rose to fame from which reality TV series? That's a bit rude, Gary. Yes, does anybody knit here? Knitting. Like, or crocheting. How did that get there? Driblets. Driblets and driblets of water. I don't know, Stu. Which reality TV series did he also appear in? Question four. Who played Smithy in Gavin and Stacey? Or as Gavin calls him, Smithy. 
Although I suppose that would be the same for Liam because he can't pronounce th. So he says f. Ah, well, um, ah, well, if you've got the link, then you've got the link. You've already, yeah, great. Yes, that, that's what I've been doing when I'm meant to be furloughed. This glass has got juice on it. Somehow. Question five. Penelope Keith played which character in the series To the Manor Born? You see, I, I think celebrity version of Come Dine With Me takes the whole point out of Come Dine With Me. It's meant to just be a load of random people in a house rather than a load of ego mad twats. No offence, if there's any celebrities watching. Oh, sorry, Stu, you are one. A local celebrity. Right. Question five. Oh, no, we're on question six. In 2017, who replaced head judge Len Goodman on Strictly Come Dancing? Well, no, that's what I mean. Like, it's meant to just be random people, like reality TV people, not like celebrities. I... But, yeah, yeah. Yep, I mean, I won't be buying a TV license when I'm in Newcastle because I won't be watching TV. Just Netflix. Who narrated the national history series Blue Planet? Yeah, well, you would disagree, because you, you want to pretend you are a celebrity, Stu. Sorry, who's minus 99? Oh my god, Gary, what have you done? <laughs> Gary, how have they got minus nine? <laughs> you, yeah, Gary's just put that in. <laughs> I don't know why. Question eight. Which, uh, the TV character Keith Lemon is played by which actor? How can you see the scores? They are just here. Here, 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 here. Somewhere around here. Um, and they rotate. So you'll be able to see them pop up. <laughs> yeah, you'll never beat me, Stu. Floaty head. You can't. Well, you can't even see me. <sighs> you know, I thought that. That yeah. Well, the other way round then. Moving on, question nine. Who is the name of the BBC's sports programme that ran from 1958 to 2007 and was first presented by Peter Dimock? You can see why I was bullied at school, can't you? Yeah, you can keep your sticks away. Actually, you are afraid to use them because you won't step outside. Think of all the vitamin D you're missing out on. Uh, 
And no, it doesn't travel, uh, UV doesn't travel very well through glass. Question 10. Which TV show is centred on the owners of Paddy's Pup? <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's true, Gary. Yeah, they're not floating around on a Disney cruise ship wearing fancy uniforms. I don't know how you do it, Gary. Question 11. In which series of Star Trek would you find the, the character Quark? And a bonus point if you want to name a type of Quark. Yeah, people just seem to like you, Gary. Like, you just seem to get anything. <laughs> Question 12. In which TV show did Robin Williams play an alien from the planet Orc? The planet, not planner. Well, it wasn't, but it is now. Keep up, Gary. Someone has ping it did it me. So the uh, the 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 donations to I believe still the RSPCA. Yep, the RSPCA uh, is currently at two, three, six, seven pounds. Seven pounds. Thank you. If anyone else would like to donate, please use this link here. Just down there in the box, uh, it is a Barclays uh, thing and it's perfectly safe and I will denote 100% of it to the RSPCA in this uh, instance. But you said that you're not doing my area. The nice bearded guy that came to collect my parcel this morning is doing my area. He's lovely. Big, big beard. Uh, question... 13. Amity Island is the fictional location for which 1975 thriller? Well, tell her that she's telling big porkies. As Gary says... If she's going to be a bully, they'll be. She'll she'll have multiple children into their graves or already doing time. <laughs> Stu, when you sell something, send it through Hermes and and get the collection, and then you'll meet him. <laughs> Oh, you're putting cover for Brampton. I don't think I'm expecting any parcels tomorrow, Gary. But you're welcome to drop by anyway. Question 14. Watership Down is a community of which animals? Yeah, everything that I'd ordered has arrived.
Question 15. What is the name of Bruce Lee's character in Enter the Dragon? Oh, you're doing Monday too? Well, I'm not going to order something just so I can get you to deliver it when it might not even be you that's delivering it. And I don't have any parcels to sell because nothing's sold on eBay. Um, but if anybody's wanting a bag or a mouse or a um, Skoda CityGo slash Volkswagen Up slash Seat Me Radio, then do let me know. Quest no, that's the end of that one, so I will just... Uh, blah, 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 blah. You get what I mean. On there for you to see, very briefly. Is anybody watching Travellers on Netflix? It's amazing. Question. Landmarks. Question one. So on this one, I'm going to take myself away. Oh, shit. I hope you didn't see the answer there. Crap, I forgot about that one. Um, if you saw the answer, forget it. You never saw it. You never saw the answer. You basically just have to guess the landmark and write it down. And number two, everyone should get this one. And so I feel like I need to make that black box bigger. Bloody hell, I'm not doing very well at this summer. Well, I mean, I think you all got that one anyway. Oops. Number three. Oh, bloody hell. Oh dear. There we are, that should cover up anything. Oopsie me. So, now we have got question four. Blackpool. We went to the Blackpool Illuminations um, last year. Um, I was quite disappointed because they've just gone for the easy option of just using LEDs, which is fine. But rather than having like intricate things sort of moving the lights around, it was just LEDs flashing, which kind of took the fun away from it because I used to like like watching all of these lights moving around and stuff, but. When they're just LEDs flashing around, it's kind of boring, really. And it was also always good fun to watch the bulb guy go backwards and forwards, replacing the bulbs. Number five.
Yeah, well, my aunt decided to move to 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 give up before we got that far. That's my family for you. I never stick at things. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm talking the Illuminations from like 10 years ago, so I imagine most of that's gone. Uh, question six, however. Well, yeah, but they won't have everything. Number seven. I mean, we all know that it's better than the Sunderland ones, though. I mean, that's that's obvious. Ooh, Sunderland. Number eight. And number nine. Number ten. What? Gary's added things in. Apparently, my cousins have decided that it's more important to play Monopoly than to watch my quiz. So, so much for going to see them at the weekend. Eleven. Well, they did still have, technically... A sort of internet connection.
number 12. And 13. Number 14, Liam, I expect you to get this one. Well, I love cheese, but I'm trying to cut down on dairy, so I do rather struggle with cheese. <laughs> Vegan cheese just isn't really there yet. I reckon they're probably about 15 years off. And number 15. Plug a lot. Go on, Stu, what are you plugging? But you can travel virtually! Yay! Google Maps, Street View, I know you are, um, so, next we're on to music, there's your scores back, so, which talent show judge married, m married, managed Westlife? Now I know why you wanted me to uh, close it so you could put whatever gifts you wanted in. Ah, yes, Stu has, uh, has, uh, has, Stu has a job. <gasps> he is uh, doing a, a short um, radio DJ thing on, uh, is it Saturday or Sundays, on Folk FM? Which is kind of funny because his folk band is turned into more of a rock band. Yeah, we, we don't need the tagline as well, Stu. <laughs> it's like you're living there already. Question two. What was the name of Madonna's first studio album released in 1983? And what time on Saturday? Then we all know what time to tune in and complain. I didn't like his voice. Sounded funny. Oh, it's not paid. Ah. Uh. But that, that just means you can use it for plugging. Not the BBC. 12 noon. 12 noon tomorrow. Tune in to Folk UK to hear Stu talking about folk songs. And if you can't wait till then... Go to the Music on the Mar website, go to What's On, and go to the Momcast. Uh, and he has done two Momcasts uh, since we can't have Music on the Mar this year. Question three. What English county does Supergrass and Radiohead have in common? Yeah, we know it's not live. It's disappointing. They just can't trust you. It's all Indie Weekend, so for everyone who doesn't like folk music, you will love it. 
What if we don't like indie music either? Uh, question four. Which Bob Dylan song did Adele cover uh, include on her first album? Especially not on a Saturday. It's one of your drinking days. <laughs> Please don't talk about that on radio. <laughs> Nobody wants to know what you're watching. Uh, what was Britney Spears' first single called? Question six. Face Value was a 1981 album from which former member of the band Genesis? I've left my parents watching My Spy, which is on uh, Amazon Prime at the moment. They seem to be enjoying it. <laughs> Question 7 Which 1988 Michael Jackson hit begins I'm gonna make a change for once in my life One of his few very good songs Also, if anybody's into reading, the Northeast Young Professionals are running a super cool book group on Thursdays at 7 p.m. I wonder what book they're reading. The Woman in Cabin Number 10 by Ruth Ware uh, is their book for May. I don't know what it is. I don't know who she is. I have never heard of it. Question eight. Which group had a UK number one as a single in 1980 with a cover of the Four Seasons track? Working my way back to you. James, please tell me you know what Red Tube is. Question 9. Which group released We Built This City in 1985? <laughs> yeah, I think you should look at it. <laughs> Stormzy collaborated with Burner Boy and which other British musician on Own It?
<laughs> Gonna be some arguments later on. <laughs> Question 11. Which former One Direction member released Watermelon Sugar and I Adore You? Nearly there. Question 12. BTS, also known as the Bangtan Boys, are a seven-member boy band from which country? And question 13, Australian Tony Watson is best known as which, whoops, uh, as which artist who broke through with basically in a sentence that makes sense. Who performed the song Dance Monkey? Okay. Question fourteen. Abel Makonen Tanzfe is the stage name of which act who released the bli uh, released Blinding Lights in twenty twenty. I don't know. What is Tony Watson's stage name? And finally. Complete the first name of the Bill Withers hit Ain't No Sunshine dot dot dot. Well, yeah, but I, I, I gave it another question. The answer is 42, but, you know, there are many, many questions that answer the question. What is the ultimate question? And so there are all the questions for you to catch up on. And then we will march into the answers in approximately two minutes. So please send in all of your answer forms. And Gary can stress himself out marking them, although by the looks of it, most of them are marked already. Uh, Brixie, please send in your pre-quiz round. And Iris Wristwatch, please send in your pre-quiz round. Uh, any uh, donations will go to the RSPCA if you would like to donate 
uh, then please do, or feel free to donate directly to the RSPCA instead. Ah, thank you, Irish Rizfots, you have done your pre-quiz. It is just Brixie who has not. So, moving on to the answers. Starting with the earliest, put these four newspapers in order by which they were founded. Times, Daily Mail, Sun and Independent. Starting with the earliest, put these four Oscar-winning films in the order of release. Casablanca, West Side Story, Rocky and Rain Man. Uh, starting with the lowest, put these four snooker balls in order by their points value. Red, brown, blue and pink. Starting with the earliest, put these four actors in order by when they first played James Bond. Sean Connery, George Lazenby, Roger Moore and Pierce Brosnan. Starting with the lowest, put these four police ranks in order of superiority. Constable, Sergeant, Superintendent and Chief Constable. Starting with the earliest, place these four actresses in order by when they were first won an Oscar. Betty Davis, Julie Andrews, Miller Streep and Jodie Foster. Starting with the lowest, put these four Roman numerals in order by the number they represent. 5, 10, 50, I don't know, VXLM. Uh, starting with the west, uh, westernmost, put these four U.S. states in order from west to east. Hawaii, California, Texas, and New York. Starting with the earliest, put these foods in order of when they traditionally appear during the year. First we have the pancake, then the hot cross bun, then the pumpkin, and the Christmas cake to finish. Starting with the earliest, put these forms of transport in the order they were introduced. Penny Farthing, Model T Tom Ford, Flying Scotsman and Airbus 380. Put these European capital cities in order of their location from north to south. You just put that there to confuse me. Reykjavik. Reykjavik. Uh, Brussels, Vienna, and Athens. Starting with the uh, southernmost, put these motorways in order from south to north. M4, reading to Bristol. Uh, M25, M6, and the M8. Did I just say reading? That's read it. Oh my god. Well, I didn't know there were places when I was just reading them, did I? Starting with the fewest, put these uh, creatures in order according to the number of legs they have. Ostrich, antelope, beetle and spider. Starting with the earliest, put these processes in the order they are traditionally carried out to make a basic sponge cake. Beat the sugar and eggs, or the eggs and sugar, or the butter and sugar even, Add the beaten eggs, fold in the flour, spoon the mixture into the tin. That's really simple cake. Maybe I should actually start making them. Question 15. Put these words said by Neil Armstrong in order. Small man, giant mankind. Starting with the slowest, put these horse movements in order of speed. Walk, trot, canter and gallop. Put these UK airports, as represented by their, their uh, airport code, in order from north to south. Glasgow, Manchester, b -b 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 is that b -b -b Birmingham maybe? BHX and LGW, uh, no idea. London Gatwick. Though, uh, put these Looney Tunes characters in order of their theoretical debut, Theatrical debut, starting with the earliest. Porky Pig, Daffy Duck, Bugs Bunny and Tasmanian Devil. Put these countries in order of the total area. Starting with the biggest, we have Pakistan, France, Thailand and Papua New Guinea. Put these Beatles songs in order to when they were recorded. 
not released, starting with the earliest drive my car, Eleanor Rigby, let it be something. Put these board games in order according to the most spaces on the board, starting with the most. Monopoly, sorry, Snakes and Ladders, and Candyland. Put these TV characters in order of their age, after the most recent episode, starting with the youngest. Homer Simpson, Tony S Soprano, AI Buddy, Bundy, and Larry David. Starting with the oldest, put these subway systems in the order they opened. The London Underground was, of course, the very first. Budapest Metro, Glasgow Subway, and the Paris Metro. Starting with the first, put these Walt Disney World theme parks in order of when they opened. Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Hollywood Studios, and Animal Kingdom. And bonus question! What occurs twice in a week, once in a year, and never in a day? The letter E. So, that's all them answers. Let me just um, not mess all of that up. Um, I hope that's not just messed everything up. We want to go back. I like this slide selector. That's something PowerPoint doesn't have that it should have. Um, that's not right. Deary me. Right, okay, so. Question. Uh, question one. Uh, what UK TV soap does Ken Barlow feature on Coronation Street? Roald Dahl wrote the book Matilda. Mango is the national fruit of India. Joe Swash won Dancing on Ice in 2020. Uh, uh, Jay-Z and Beyonce's oldest child is called Blue Ivy. How many versions of the iPhones have there been released by Apple, including XL, Max, and Pro? In, uh, this is according to the official Apple website, 25. What's the biggest country... And they're basically all the same. What's the biggest country in Africa? Algeria. The chemical symbol for iron is Fe. There are 26.2 miles in a marathon. The point two is important. Who has won more Grand Slams? Roger Federer or Serena Williams? Serena Williams with 23. The presenter of the UK show Tipping Point is Ben Shepherd. Uh, the uh, uh, Britain's Cup talent... Uh, David Williams has recent... You get the idea, it's David Williams. Uh, in the Monsters, Inc. film, uh, Sully's full name is James P. Sullivan, as you'll remember the crab guy saying. Uh, true or false, humans share around 50% of the same genetics with a banana. It's true. Not be eating another banana. Which motorway is the longest in the UK? The M6. There are all the questions. Moving on to this year. Marilyn Monroe died in 1962. Uh, India gained independence from the UK in 1947. England won the FIFA World Cup in 1966. Uh, the Good Friday Agreement was signed in 1998. Gary is ringing me for some reason. I'm not going to answer that. I'm assuming everything's going fine. Uh, question uh, five. In what year did Queen Elizabeth II describe as an Annus Hodobilis? 1992. In what year did the sovereignty of Hong Kong transfer from the UK to China? Uh, 1997. Uh, Queen Elizabeth II crowned in 1953. Uh, Canada achieved total independence from the UK in 1982. The Falklands War was 1982. Queen Victoria died in 1901. Tony Blair became Prime Minister in 1997. The Brexit, re Brexit referendum took place four years ago, in 2016. David Beckham left Manchester United in 2003. And the year uh, Eddie the Eagle made his name in the Winter Olympics was 1988. The Battle of Britain was 1940. Which family game show first aired in 1971 returned to the BBC in 2018 with Mel and Sue as presenters, The Generation Game? Who was the original maths expert on Countdown? Carol Vorderman. 
Bing, uh, Binky, Felstead, and Oki, uh, Oki, Oki? <laughs> Ollie Locky, Ollie Lock, <laughs> rose to fame from which reality TV series made in Chelsea? Who played Smithy in Gavin and Stacey? James Corden. Penelope Keith played Audrey Forbes Hamilton in The Manor, uh, To The Manor Born. In 2017, Shirley Ballas replaced head judge Len Goodman on Strictly Come Dancing. Uh, David Attenborough has narrated all of the Blue Planet series. Uh, the character Keith Lemon is played by which actor? Lee Francis, or whichever way around that's meant to be. What was the name of the BBC sports programme that ran from 1958 to 2007 and was first presented by Peter Dimock? Grandstand. The TV show is centred on the owners of the puppies, uh, of puppies, Paddy's, Paddy's pup. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. Philadelphia, even. Uh, and uh, Star Trek Deep Space Nine was the Star Trek in which you would find Quark. Uh, in which TV show did Warley, Warley, Robin Williams play an alien from the planet Ork, Mork and Mindy? Jaws is where Amity Island comes from. And Watership Down is about a community of rabbits. Bruce Lee's character in Enter the Dragon is called Lee. Landmark! So this is the Angkor, which is in... I'm not going to play, pronounce all these places because most of them I can't. Sydney Opera House, Eiffel Tower... Taj Mahal, Burj Khalifa, Machu Picchu, the Great Wall of China, Mount Rushmore National Memorial, Saint Ma um, the, the Mont Saint Michael's. Really, Gary? Uh, Saint Basil's Cathedral. The Acropolis, Easter Island, Golden Gate Bridge, Nuschwanstein Castle, and the Leaning Tower of Pisa, the music round which talent show judge managed Westlife, Louis Walsh. The name of Madonna's first studio album released in 1983 was Madonna. What English county do Supergrass and Radio have in common? They were both founded in Oxfordshire. Bob Dylan song, You Make Me uh, Make Me Feel My Love, was covered by Adele in her first album. Britney Spears' first single was called Baby One More Time. Face Value was a 1981 album from Phil Collins from Genesis. Man in the Mirror is uh, I'm going to make a change for once in my life. I love that song. Uh, which group had a UK number one hit single in 1980 with a cover of the Four Seasons track, Working My Way Back to You, the Detroit Spinners. Starship released We Built This City in 1985. Stormzy collaborated with Burner Boy and, Witch, the, and, uh, and, and Ed Sheeran. Uh, former One Direction member Harry Styles released Watermelon and I Adore You. BTS, also known as the Bangtan Boys, are a seven-member boy band from South Korea. And Tones and I is the other name for Tony Watson. Watson? Watson? With Dance Monkey. If you like that song, even if you don't like that song, uh, go on YouTube and search for Peter Booker, as in B-U-K-A Really good pianist Really great cover of that song um, Abel Makonen Tansfe Is the stage name of The Weekend who released Blinding Lights uh, Complete the first line of the Bill Withers hits Ain't no sunshine when she's gone And that concludes All of the answers Gary where are we up to um, let's just uh, go back to there. Should we go back to that one? We'll do. Let's get some scores.
Uh, I don't think it's in order, but oh well. That will do. So, um... Gary, what have I done? No, you're meant to name the landmark, Liam. Yeah, I, I know, but that means... Oh, fine. Um, where are we? Filters. Right. There they are in order. Yeah, that's a good question. How can people get... We're both 15 on round four. Did you give two points to them or something? Because round four was landmarks. Um, well, I'm... Yeah, okay. Okay, fine. I'll let you off. You're being too kind, Gary. Okay, so if anyone, uh, by the way, um, uh, are we are all the schools in? The schools are all in. So congratulations to Irish Irish wristwatch with ninety five point five points. Um, the um, if anybody would like to um, put the. Um, If anybody would like to donate any more money to the RSPCA, please do so in the next minute, and I will donate that directly to them now. Via the PayPal donate. Currently sitting at uh, eight, eight pounds, I believe. Uh, no, so, uh, three, four, five, six, seven pounds. So I will denote seven pounds right now. And that is the uh, donation done. PayPal's nice and easy, isn't it? Well, thank you for watching. I will be back again the same time next week. Uh, I might make them a little bit easier because I think some people find them a bit hard. Um, so, um, yeah, have a good week. Um, drink lots. Um, and uh, stay safe, uh, and I will see you next Friday. Have a good weekend. Uh, and I will see you next Friday. Have a good weekend. <laughs>